All right, everybody. Welcome back to Brigandine Grand Edition Historical Conquest. So we're going to go ahead and play this today, play this tonight, for, I don't know, a good amount of time. But uh, so far what we have here is a pretty interesting uh, situation. If you've missed some of the past episodes, the Yodia and Iskar's Empire went to duke it out and they summarily destroyed each other and Carolion just kind of mopped up afterwards. So that's essentially what happened there. Uh, the ranking is at 34,000 points for Carolion. And you can see Leonia finished off with 19,000 points. And the reason being is because, well, <laughs> essentially they conquered about the whole, almost the whole western part of the map. And then Norgard came in, cut them off, and they were just too staggered, and they just got, you know, messed around. It was, it, it, it was, it was really, really tough. So, yeah, it, uh, it didn't end very well for them. Iskaris Empire, initially, in the very beginning, they were holding a ton of territory, almost knocked out New Omechia. How you doing, Carrot? They almost knocked out New Omechia, and then, like, they just got so spread out that everybody just ate a piece of what they had, and that was kind of that. But, um, so, anyways, so far, I don't know. It's really any man's game at this point. Uh, New Mechia might go out, they might come back. They've been struggling, they've been trying as hard as possible to come back. They were down to one castle two different times. So if they do come back, this will be like a comeback king, comeback kid kind of scenario for them. That would be crazy. Uh, Scalio came back. Pretty hard uh, for a while there, but now Carleon's pushing against them. Norgard's trying. I don't know. Carleon's, or I don't know what's going to happen, but uh, Carleon's got a pretty decent force now. They actually have 14 knights to be able to move around, so maybe they'll actually accomplish something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm my guess. My guess so far is that Escalio might fall. Neomeki might fall. I, I think we're going to see a green and blue battle in the end. I'm just stating my position here. It could turn around where Norgard loses and Escalio eats up all of Norgard and then maybe um, it's Escalio versus Green, but we'll see. Carleon invades Carnaboon. Who would have thunk it? I know I would have. Can they do it with this rinky-dink team here? That is a very rinky-dink team. Charlene, Camden, Aldous, Miguel, Victoria. Oh my gosh, I don't know. Now that I'm here, we'll win for sure. I don't know about that. Charlene is here, and you've got uh, Camden who likes to nuke his own, his, his own team. So I'm not positive. I mean, Sierra is here too, but she's way up there. She's way out of bounds. I guess we shall find out today, shan't we? We have one healer with an angel. Hopefully he'll stay in the back and maybe do some actual healing instead of going to the front line and getting himself killed. Or... Or... Or not. Don't know if it's good for her to be in the front, but... Okay, Cortina's not getting herself killed off. <laughs> That's actually probably the best. <laughs> That's probably for the best. She's learned her lesson a number of times in the past. And now she's gonna, you know, play defense, which is good. Hopefully she doesn't go all the way out in the front, which she did. Great. Good job, Marriott. Just, just, just... Go way ahead of all of your team members. Don't worry about anything. It's not like you're going to get double cursed or anything. You know, or, or uh, exit blast and then curse and then the holy word. There's, it's not like any of that's going to happen. I, I really don't believe it. I really don't. You could just probably just a meter doom, you know. Okay, Marriott. Congratulations. You, uh... 
you effectively, you know, did that thing. It doesn't help you in any way. Spikers is out in the front lines. And that was it for Marriott. Good try, Marriott. I know you went out there, you really hate Camden, you shot him in the face, but you kind of need your backliners to be in the front line there. That doesn't help you very much, does it? So, can we get a win here with what's left? I'm not sure. I think we're having a bit of a harder time now. I don't know what turn it is, though. I think it's turn three. Yep, still turn three. Spikers might not get killed. Spikers, I don't know where you're at, but congrats. Um, okay, never mind. Sorry. I, uh... Uh-oh. And a miss. And the lousy miss, how dare you? But yeah, everybody that's jumped in the stream here, hopefully you're having a good time, good night. I have to play for Carly on turn five. I don't know how I'm gonna help them get the win on turn five, considering uh, Marriott just got herself broken. There's a holy war, the meteor dooms, just, just might not play out, you know. And Spikers is down. Sorry, Spikers. I don't know where you're at, but they just uh, summarily killed off your stuff, so. Very sorry to see that. Are all of my units dead? They all died, like, in two seconds, man. Just like two seconds. You were just, just toast. Your guys... You just gotta get better guys, man. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, man. We could have seen maybe a win with this, but as soon as we came in here, they were just such a rinky-dink team. Like that Marriott? You know, Marriott with Cortina? Sierra? Okay, I get Sierra, but, I mean, Marriott literally went out to the front, shot Camden in the face, and immediately regretted that. That's exactly what happened. And Spikers got killed off, so... You know, I think Spikers has a Phoenix and another Fairy somewhere. But man, don't, I, don't worry, Gold, Mr. Goldark. I'm I'm totally kidding. Uh, I I don't know. Maybe one of yours did go. But I think technically, or maybe you did survive. We'll have to take a peek and look. Do you remember all your? Uh, do you remember all your guys? Does Gold still have a dragon? You have the Red Dragon still. I'm pretty sure you saw the red dragon with a Scalio. You had a stone golem and, and a dragon. Um, I'm not sure about the stone golem. It could be. Oh, you know what? You do have the bronze golem. That stone golem got killed off some time ago. That was like two episodes ago. But the bronze golem is still there. The bronze golem was getting close to death, though. It was actually uh, about to be dueling... Um, I think it was Paul Mighty's or somebody. He was a, he was already fighting him, or I think it was maybe that or Drist. I forgot who he's on. If you remember where the bronze golem's at, I think maybe maybe the bronze golem. Because I think it was Carleon and Escalio they were fighting, and I'm pretty sure I saw the bronze golem there. So if Carleon has a bronze golem, I have to see. I think Sierra's toast. She's just paralyzed. What's she gonna do? But Jake, uh, Jake, you lost that level 20 Pliskin uh, Lizard Man in one of the final fights. It got killed off. If you want the Nubist here, you could have that. Unless he dies. 
<laughs> she's probably gonna die. <laughs> yeah, that is exactly enough. We to go. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> that was exactly enough. You could have that die. <laughs> it's gone. Yep, that's how that goes. And Spikers gets to kill off Sierra. That was a, a big tragedy. Uh, Kirlian's gonna have to reorganize a lot of stuff here because they just lost two. They lost two leaders. They do have two leaders extra in case they don't go questing. If they don't go questing, then they'll have two extra leaders. But um, oh wait, Mr. Goldark, are you down there with the stone golem? Were you there? I may have. I don't know. Norgard. Norgard is moving in here. Phoenix are the units that die the least. Yeah, well, they... they oh, Paul Mighty's, you're with uh, Norgard with the uh, the Browns Golem there. You're all split up, though. You're all split up, though, so I don't know... We do we do get to fight for Norgard, though. We're going to try to give um, a good team for defense here, which Hilrado is now showing up, like, at the top. So it's good for them. I fight to reach the heavens, even though I'm always on the ground. I fight to reach the heavens as I ground myself by hugging a bunch of trees. Vinard is indeed a tree hugger. If you didn't believe it, I'll tell you right now, it's, I know it's coming from my lips, but you have to believe me. Definitely, Vinard is definitely a tree hugger. You know, white wolf thing, all the nature stuff going on there, you might as well call him Nature Boy, well, I don't know if that'd work. That, that's WrestleMania stuff. But, uh... He's, he's definitely a nature guy. The White Wolf? I mean, come on. White Wolf, right? Spikers is still alive over here. There's Mr. Goldark, level 21. Trying to... income. Uh, get... To gain an income? I don't know. Road Bull is level 20. So we got that. Uh, I think I have one guy left out of six. No, you have you have five and six left, and I think you have another monster left too. But you have the Thor left right there, and then you have uh, six left, which I think is a gold dragon. Jake? Might be. I know Pringer also has a gold dragon. There is Falcor. Spikers is there. Two. Two Spikers are there. Holy cow. Mr. Goldark is... Kind of waiting in the wings. I think I think you're just going to be lobbing rocks all day, Mr. Goldark. I don't think you'll be going in into any serious danger. But if you do, you're going to go right next to that bishop and get Divine Raid in the face. I think that's what's going to happen if you, if you move up ahead. Otherwise, you'll be safe back there throwing rocks all day. You know, because chunking rocks is your thing. To get that that road bull down there, he needs to do some healing. Spikers basically claimed all the fairies. You're not wrong. If you want to name a fairy before Spikers names the fairy, now is the time. <laughs> or there, or else they're all gonna be gone. <laughs> they will all be gone. Ooh, she got lucky. I thought she was gonna get stoned. I thought she was totally gonna get stoned right there. I was like, there's a stoning. There's a stoning. Nope. Rock is... Uh-oh. Well, nobody named the black. I think the black is, uh... The black is basically down. That can't survive. Mr. Goldar took... You took a hit from there. That sucks. But I think you'll be okay. And a perfect miss. Will there be the stoning there? Nope. Ooh. <laughs> I'm in danger. Well, maybe. There is a Geno Bolt on its way. Do you see where the Geno Bolt is? Pliskin is going to kick your ass. <laughs> Mr. Golark with the Geno Bolt. <laughs> well, sorry, I probably shouldn't laugh. Um, <laughs> he's going to go Geno Bolt. Boom. Oh, Hilrado is going to give himself up to lose. He is powerful, but, I mean, him up against all that? Come on, he can't do it. He can't do it. He's just one widow. He's one widow Avenger over there. What is he going to do? 
Geno Frost, of course. I think Hilrado sacrificed himself for the uh, possible defense here. I don't see... I don't see this turning out at good at all. It doesn't matter. Just one li it's It's just Hilrado and a dragon. Well, the dragon will be dead pretty soon. The dragon will be dead in practically no time. He's going to get a bolt attack, or Vinod's going to get a react. One of the two. A dumb. Well, fantastic, Spikers. You could have done... You could have done me proud here, but you didn't. I can't believe you. Why did you do that to me right there? You could have done bolt attack. You could have done react. Go for a dumb on Meligan. What a waste of time. What a waste of time, man. I don't know, Mr. Golduck. You might survive. You might survive. We'll see. We'll see. It would be awesome if you survived, actually, though, because... I want to see a Talus. I'm, I'll just be, I'll be honest, Mr. Goldick. I want to see a Talus. It would be super, super awesome to see a Talus in here. Uh, Road Bull? Uh, you you could have moved forward and uh, got close to healing up the possible Talus. Turn four. Turn four. You are not doing a Genobolt? Mr. Goldark, you are saved. You are saved, bro. Pliskin is just gonna snuggle up next to you, not even try to fight you. He's gonna be like, hey, hey, bro. And you're like, yeah, bro. Let's not fight each other. Let's team up against uh, uh, Road Bull over there. Mr. Goldark's like, yeah, bro, I'll do that. I think that's what they're saying to each other. What do you guys think they're saying? I don't know. They're whispering something, though. I don't know if it's sweet nothings, but... There's the cleanse. Okay, still turn four. Auto. Clarata! <laughs> what is going to go down here? Oh no, Mr. Goldark is taking hits. Taking hits, bro. Curse you, Vinod, curse you. <laughs> Didn't do hardly anything. Put that dragon on ice. Nice. Oh, he'll ride all. You think that's funny, Carrot? Huh? huh? I guess it is kind of funny. Two spikers, one doing bolt, one doing harden. It's good, good day, good day. Ooh, 130 something. Will Helrado get away alive? I think Duomeki has got to go. Don't think they can handle this. This could... Guys and gals, this could be the end of Neomachia, possibly. Mm -hmm. 
they kind of had to hold this in order to help Carleon move out, but, I mean, Carleon is not moving out north. For whatever reason, they decided just, oh, I don't really care. Pliskin just walking all over the place. No no problem. No care in the world. Doesn't worry about nothing. Doesn't worry about nothing. Uh-oh, Mr. Goldark. You're uh um uh, You uh You stubbed your toe, bro. Gotta heal up that that brown scum. Dory man, I'll get you covered. I, I can get him up there just close enough and maybe do something. Wow. Retreat for Hilrato. Okay. Turn five, Norgard's coming down. Take that and win. Let's wait. <laughs> Dory, Mr. Gold, I got you. I got you, bro. you die here. Not yet. You die when I say you die. <laughs> so maniacal. <laughs> no! I thought you'd get 150 something blah blah blah. Didn't work. Turn six. Gino Bolt! Ooh. Aren't you glad I planted him one space down? <laughs> you would have gotten that Gino Bolt. Pliskin, level 20. Ooh, good job, man. Good job. Good job, bro. I don't, I don't know if they're going to stay. Yeah, they might as well go. Might as well go. Mm. 
Mr. Goldark, you have survived. There was no need to put you in danger. There was literally no need to put you in any more danger. I might as well pull you back, heal you up, you know, get the win with that, get some levels. Now Carleon's invading this noise. I wasn't sure this was going to happen, but it did. I don't know what kind of army they have here. They could have had more guys. I know they've moved more people here. This is really weird. Hopefully we can get a win with uh, Carleon. We'll see, though. We got the same kind of team again. We got Shast and Janfurter. Dude, guys, we are getting this immense... For whatever reason, we are just constantly fighting with Shast and Janfurter and hardly anybody else for Carleon's team. I don't understand. I really kind of don't. But what can we do? You know, could be a good battle, but there is only one healer here, so... There's only one healer though. They got uh, a main healer there. They got a bunch of ghouls. They got a couple of rocks, dragon. Ooh, it's gonna be a tough fight. It'll definitely be a tough fight. Hopefully, Jamfer doesn't get his ass, you know, uh, stoned. <laughs> Maybe. Hopefully, Shas doesn't either. Although Shas, I think he's got enough agility. He might be able to get up, get away with stuff. If anything, probably some of the mod—they're probably gonna go after the monsters to try to stone the monsters off. Oh my gosh! Wow, that was—that was—that uh, was quite the move on you, Janfeder, just going out there like that. I don't—that—that that was terrible decision making right there, man. That was terrible. That was also terrible. <laughs> just saying. I'm speaking my mind. That was freaking terrible. Don't ever do that. Don't ever pull that shit again. <laughs> and there we go with the stone, just like I said, on the monster. Boom. Called it. Yes! This could be really bad for her. There could be a divine ray in her future. I might be psychic. I might be psychic. There could be a divine ray in her future. Just saying. Whoa. Mr. Centaur? Will you survive, bro? Broski? Boobich! He got attacked by Boobich. Did you see that? It's actually the name of the ghoul is called Boobich. I don't know how you can uh, make fun of that, but uh, I guess the name itself is, is a joke in and of itself. Boobitch. Uh-oh. Well, here... Oh, that worked out pretty good. Boobitch. <laughs> I could say that all day. <laughs> ah! And it's gone. Yeah! Yeah! Mr. Goldark, can you say Boobitch ten times fast? Or Jake. Or anybody that's in the stream and a chat. That is the name of the ghoul. Oh no, the angel got hit. Oh no, he could have he could have uh he could have divine raid the leader. But now he's gonna heal himself up. Poor Boobitch. Angel will heal himself up, I'm pretty sure. Unless, unless he divine raids the leader, then it'll, that'd be funny. Yeah. With the power of heal! Ubriel will survive the battle. Maybe. Take this, little actor. Yeah. It's bro on bro time. I like Hector, but Chas is just superiorly powerful right now. I don't. I don't know if he's going to 
be able to uh, come out of this alive. Okay, we got... Yep, auto. With a spear throw to Jamfitter's gut? Ow. That will hurt. Oh, <laughs> 27! Couldn't do it. Oh, no. Oh, this is gonna be a very tight battle. Heal me! My name's Noi. I need a heal, even though I'm on the castle. I really don't care anymore. I'm just going full bore. If I, if I get the chance, I'm just going to totally go full bore. We're going to knock out a leader. Somehow. We're just, we're just going to knock them out. Mama said to knock you out. So I'm going to knock you out. 280-some. Yeah, we probably could do it. 2-2-some. Two, two, oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. That was a good hit, too. I like it. Nice. Okay, uh, yeah, that's level 10. Unfortunate. We might lose it, but either do a heal or I just get rid of a leader here which I think I think this is the better call honestly just level 14 and then 5 I think we're gonna have him go next so we do yeah there's not a lot of not, not a lot of other calls I think that are gonna work out right here we to knock him out we to knock her out Maybe we'll bring in some monsters to guard the angel. One oh two, one oh six. Can we kill this thing off? Forty one. One sixteen, just enough. Good. Titan glove gone. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, still turn five. We're we're, we're doing okay. Not super, super awesome. Fabulistic expo Eliodosius, awesome, but we're doing like pretty awesome. Yeah. Oh, there's Murdy. We could maybe kill off Murdy. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm just gonna kill off the leader here. And then just get stuff in the front. <laughs> Evil Bane looted. Good job. Okay, dragon's stuck there. Let's move up here. Oh, man, we got... They had to do it like that, too. <laughs> this is a bare save on that angel. That angel could have totally died. That's that's level 11 now. That is definitely a, a good high level angel right there. All 
All right, you want to stick this out? You can. I don't think they're going to, though. I don't think they're going to. Was that New Mechia lost, but Carolyn won, so one for one, Norgard. They are definitely gonna have to change things around though. Guys and gals, they are definitely gonna have to change a lot of stuff around. Adelicia, who is she for? Oh, no, Mecha, what am I thinking? get some agility there boom ah sorry carrot but uh yeah carleon is is you know definitely winning to some degree they did get a loss they did kind of commit seppuku a little bit over in carnaboon but they got a, a good win there that was kind of tough for them they can't they, they always love to come in with just like two knights like shast and jaffer they're like oh they're both level 20 we don't need any more knights it's cool it's cool <laughs> no it's not cool <laughs> it's really not We knocked out some Norgard knights, so they might actually be lower on knights. So I don't know how Norgard's going to hold all this territory here. Uh, let's let's take a peek here. Uh, Norgard still has 50-something monsters, though. They got uh, K's in there, so they have that. Got Mr. Goldark and Falcor here. They did make a decent win, pushing Lydney. Ooh, Lydney's kind of suffering. Um... Mr. Pliskin, I hope you can hold out, man. Especially with that Thor, they... <laughs> no, Mechie really doesn't have much here. They really, really don't. Besides this, there is a, there is a Stone Golem here. Somebody wants that. It's level 12. Uh, no, Mechie could push in here, maybe. I would think that would be sort of the way about it. Uh, Norgard's gonna have to... They have enough mana to buy everything back. You know, that won't be a problem. Um, but I don't think they're going to, especially since they took over Jukes. They can just push all their stuff in the Jukes, and it's gonna look quite powerful. Guarantee. Yeah, they had Biarte right there. He could have moved in. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, that's not... I don't know. Maybe they couldn't attack with them last time, but either way. They're going to have to set up something powerful here, I think. I think Kai's going to come up here now, and Kai's probably going to fight up in here. Almost positive that'll happen. Almost totally positive. Uh, they got a good win there. A decent win there. I don't know if Kai's down here because of this. He might be. They only have two knights there, wow. Oh yeah, he's down there because of that. He's definitely down there because of that. Um, that could make Escalio grow a little bit bigger, considering Carleon's gonna have to kinda like come up here and help out. Or else Neomechia's gonna get pushed back into here again. Which 
they did a good job, like, holding out. I have to say, they did a very good job holding out. But, you know, that sort of thing. Garen's level 30. I can't believe it. Lance is 22. It's a good level. Good level. Alright, let's look at the map here real quick. Carry on 35,000 points. Um, if Vinard stays here, Kai might actually come north. He might come north. What's down here? Just kind of looking at the big boys right now, seeing what's going on here. We got Langeborg. Got Langeborg left. I don't know what's left over here. This could throw uh, a wrench into the uh, the bars here, considering they have just one knight. All right, Otto. Carleon doesn't have much to order. They're gonna order a few monsters, I bet, but I don't know what they're gonna do. They're gonna have to fight a Cardiff, I think. They might just have to play some defense, though. Escalio might come back a little bit, maybe. Who knows? Yep, Carolyn's got to get some knights over here. We got two dead knights. Langeborg's going to have to be used. They're going to have to use Langeborg somewhere. Yikes, Langeborg on anything kind of sucks. Scalio's burning up the midnight blah blah blah. They're burning up the blah blah blah. The midnight oil. That's what they're going to be burning up here. Otto. And Carleon, of course, Kai did come up north. With Langeborg. <laughs> with Langeborg in tow. He has enough to do two heals, though. So, you know, he does have some heals. He's not totally useless. He's almost totally useless. That's the thing. Uh, Brandy moved over there. Vinard moved over here. Wow. Otto. Nothing happened. Of course. Why not? The dog all grew stronger. Those that love Doggle and those that love Hyude, they got stronger in hit points. Several days later, she found a duck. Sweet, sweet honey! Hit points plus 15. Diamond male. I don't know if Carolyn will be fighting now because they've got some knights that are back in uh, in usage here, so they might just switch some knights around. So you might see some Escalio gameplay. Maybe Norgard. Uh, New Mechia could fight too. I just don't know if they're going to. We'll find out, won't we? Year 220, month 4, rune. I think that's an H, actually. I know it shows an X, but I think it's an H. I could be wrong.
it is time to begin. There's got to be a blue and yellow fight at this point, I think. A blue or yellow fight. A blue or yellow fight, or a blue and yellow fight. Let's see. Kirlian invades Carnaboon. An Escalio fight. Let's do this. I think Dindadan's probably coming in here. Lionel, Shast, oh my gosh. I mean, it could kind of go either way, but still. So did it in my rival, it's cooking. Cooking? Well, I could cook you some mushrooms. Oh, you know, I hate them. That's okay, I'll eat them all. That hurts. Oh boy, this could be a, a heck of a battle here. I don't know, as long as Dinadan doesn't get too crazy and jumps out the front lines. Might be okay. We could get ourselves a win for Carleon. Lionel in tow? Maybe. Oh! And they're starting up the fight right there. Boom. Just like that. Soul Invictus. He actually got a hit with a critical. <laughs> I was waiting for the miss there. You're gonna get counterattack. You're going to suffer the counterattack. All right. Ooh, Iria's out in front with the dodge. Makes some sense. Spikers coming in to do an attack. Boom! There goes, there goes that centaur. Good night. This is gonna be an amazing battle. Wait, you can shoot that far away? Holy cow. That's four spaces for that. Tink. Going down, giant. Nobody hits Dinadan. Oh, no. With the crit and the fire drake. Oh, he stunned her. No way. This truly is going to be a good battle, I think. Whiff, whiff. If Dinadan just cleanses up that dragon, I I really think it's going to be good. I'm surprised you didn't do anything. You could have, could have shot something, man. Aldous here with the holy word. Wait on Isophus for his holy word. I don't know if it'll come into play. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. Feeling good, though. Feeling good. There will be a lot of carnage here. I think a lot of things will... will kick the bucket. Scalio does have a Phoenix on our team. And of course. Wow. Scalio's looking pretty good though so far. They are looking good though so far, especially their monsters. The monsters are still at like near full hit points. Uh, nothing super critical's actually happened. You're doing it. Oh, there you go, man. There's the cleanse. I was hoping you were going to do a cleanse. That's good. That is very good stuff right there.
taking out the giant. Ooh, there's a little stun there. Damn! There goes the giant. It's gone. It's gotta be gone. Breath attack! All the way up. Oh, man. In a perfect silhouette there. Four of the enemy team got breathed. Just like that. Oh, that was a perfect move. That was a dang near perfect move, I have to say. Yep, the fire drake could still die, but still, that that was pretty dang good. Here comes the holy word. This is a great battle. You think so too, Carrot? I think so too. I think so too. Brings a tear to my eye. Ooh, sneaky, sneaky rock. He could get away with a lot of stuff. 84 on Iria. <laughs> He's going to back off. He's like, you know what? I'm out. <laughs> I did what I had to do. I'm out. Slash! And he missed! He misses Iria! The epic miss! Boom! Totally epic. Griffin. <laughs> what a waste. What a waste! What a waste! What a waste! <sighs> Think the dog's gonna walk away. It's not gonna walk away. 65 for heal and Iria, right there. Oh boy. We are having ourselves one heck of a duel. I have to say, Escalia is playing this a little bit smarter though. I think that, I kinda think that they are. Turn four. Holy cow. <laughs> Still turn four. There goes a griffin. Taken down to ghoul. Wow. And a bolt attack. Oh, there goes a stone golem. It's gone. It's gone. It's just gone. Huh. Hitting up good old Isfis. Ooh. I don't know. Ira's going to be tough to take down. I'm just... Just saying. 183. Goodbye. Man, this dude is obsessed with this stuff. <laughs> oh! No, man, I needed that hit. You totally biffed it. Guys and gals, how are we going to get a win now? This is like all messed up. Like everything pretty much went Escalio's way here. Kind of did. Turn five. Okay. Need a... Uh, I would love to do a bolt attack right now. We kind of can't, can we? So 
17 percent yeah that ain't gonna happen today that ain't gonna happen at all is it 105 what do we got left we got 25 22 It's just not worth it. It's just not worth it at all. Okay, maybe I could have breath attacked there. I don't know. Um, I got one heal left too. That sucks. I think we got to give it to... Yikes. to heal the shast. I think they're gonna run if I don't. That's gonna suck because I, I won't really get to play after turn six. I gotta get to shast here. hate you, dude. Okay, we're not totally dead yet. We're not totally out of the fight. Uh... Yikes. <laughs> the only thing I've got left is to try to fight this thing down here. That is it. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. That's literally all I can do. I can't fight Isvis right now. Not not as hard as I want to. Oh, she's got... Uh, she's got legs. She knows how to use them. You know, all that sort of thing. Uh, special acid breath this way and now we're gonna try attacking healer over there mean slicer 86 81 wow 60. She is gonna survive till the end of the times, isn't she? No! Don't hurt Widow Me! Wow! Great.
just freaking great. It's gonna take every single thing I have to kill her off. Well, at least that worked. All right, bro, do your thing, bro. No! Seven. Can we do it? Can we do it? Can we take her out, please? Two twenty one. Thank God. Oh, that was extremely close. level seven I can't sacrifice that <laughs> oh my god that was super super close I can't sacrifice level seven right now that's not that's not worth it Oh my gosh, 14 Drake down. Level 14 Drake is dead. Oh man, it took, it took everything I had to get this, oh, to get this win here. We, we kept, we gave him level 10 Fenrir, but we got a level 8 Dragon out of it. Oh man, that took forever. Holy cow, that took... <laughs> can you believe that, guys and gals? Can you believe that, Mr. Goldark? Can you believe it took, like, literally everything we had to gain a possible win? Clearly I got the win, but at what cost? We lost a lot of monsters in that fight. I mean, Escalio did lose some monsters too, but they got to keep their Phoenix, which didn't, you know, didn't die, so. Wow. Raging Thunder. If they have a Titan, they're going to have a Thor as well. Norgard will have a Thor. Norgard's going to have a Thor. <laughs> Dibs. <laughs> Maybe. Do you want the uh, Stone Golem, Mr. Goldark? I don't know. I mean, Norgard has the bronze. This one's a Level 12, level 12 stone here. Ah, Jake is level 20 right now with a lapis. Look at this. Intelligence not that great. But you're good with bronze? Alright, that's that's cool, man. That's cool. I don't know. Even if they try to fight New Mecha right now, they're Nomeka's got they have two lapises on their best stuff. Even if I break it, it just won't make a damn bit of difference. It really won't. There is an Archangel too, man. If you want Archangel, there's one right there. It's Agility 72. Intelligence 81. There's an Archangel for Carolion right there. 
Let's see, Amelia? I don't know if she'll go in and fight, but... I think Carolina's going to be moving all over the place here. Just because... Let's look at this here. Let's look at... Uh, Carolina is pushing in hard. Very hard. If they push in any more here, they have enough knights to just switch, flip-flop, wherever. And they'll have a whole team to just put anywhere. So if Carolina gains Carnaboon... Not Carnaboon, but if they gain Aston... Oh, man. That's going to be very, very hard for Norgard to come back. Or, I think Escalio has a chance, but I think it's going to be very hard for Norgard to, to do anything, because they might go after Norgard. But they're already all the way up here. They're already up here. I can't believe Chantel's right here. That's funny. 778 to go. Yeah, man. If you want an angel... As Calming Bell does not have a lapis. I wonder if Spikers will get a lapis at some point. That'd be funny. Okay. Neomechia is gaining some stuff back, so... Well, honestly, this doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad. A couple of Hydras here on Lydney. Pole's already at 29. Milligan's at 29 too. Man, these guys fight a lot. Gotta say, if you wanna maybe survive, New Mechia is not a bad team to go with. They got a lot of diversity. Not too much here. It's funny, they always give Helrado all this stuff. Could give it to Adelicia. But no. Mr. Helrato. Alright, let's move on here. Let's see what kind of hot dogs we can make. <laughs> 86 monsters. No end in sight. How many they can get? No end in sight. Bill Cock is waiting to level up. <laughs> this thing is named Elfo. I think Elfo. Wait, isn't Elfo in uh, Disenchanted? Yeah, Elfo's in. Have you, do you see? Do you watch uh, Disenchanted on Netflix, uh, Mr. Goldberg? Can you believe Elfo's in here? I don't believe it at all. I really don't. I really, really don't. It's a heck of a recharge for the battle, though. He's got pirate. He's got pirate earrings, so snakes aren't gonna hurt him too badly. What did you guys get left with? Oh, Mr. Goldark, you're right here. You don't have a lapis. You got the common bell, which isn't as good. I think there are enough monsters here to... Oh my gosh, they have so much stuff they can just push around wherever they want to go. <laughs> and 
Jean Grey's on their team too. Let's see guys, let's see guys and gals, can they actually equip some items here? They've got a Raging Thunder, so they have that. Not quite everything else they need, but they have that. Scavio. Items. Guilt, they have, oh, this is who has it. Dude, dude. Drist has two Gilded Crowns. If he gets a Lizard Guard, he can make two Lizard Kings. It's any of those things, he can make two Lizard Kings. If he gets that. Shave her up real fast. See where we go from here. I wonder if we'll actually finish this up before we start the multiplayer. Although, I'm not too positive that it's actually going to happen. Carleon invades Aston. Why not? They've got three three points to attack it. We're going to see a Drist fight here. I don't know who's going to win at all, but it looks like there's going to be three sides to come in here and fight. We'll see what happens. Pretty sure Drist, yep, Drist, Isphis, and we got Camden or Bag of Magus. Well, Camden does have more monsters, so I think we'll go with Camden here. Kari says we'll do fine, but what a blah blah blah. Have you met Mr. Scythe? I have. It's very, very sharp and dangerous. It's full of surprises. Can Carleon sneak out a win? Can he possibly potentially sneak out a win? We'll see. If not, I don't know. Might be close. We do have to fight for Carleon, though. I don't know. Did you hear that, Mr. Goldark? I think downstairs neighbors are throwing panties in here. Could be something like that. Oh boy. Shaz, don't get yourself killed right now, bro. Just just hold on. Hold on. Maybe you sent out the centaur to get killed. I don't really care about that. Turn three. Mr. Goldark going after the centaur. Almost a straight up one shot kill. Mr. Goldark feeling fine. Not even dazed. Oh boy. 26 ouchies. What is that a reference to? You think there's going to be 26 ouchies to the enemy team? Or 26 ouchies to... What's going on downstairs? I don't know if you can hear that. But there's, a lot of, there's a lot of females screaming. Or at least maybe one female screaming. In different voices. Which that would be very kind of scary. We gotta call an exorcist. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know if Carly and I could get a win here. I I have to fight for them, but I I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, so if he sat there with a uh, halo spell, I'd say probably not, but... Huh. This is weird, man. This is weird. I I don't know if Kayla can get this win here. There's just too many good things for Escalio right now. 
plus plus that too <laughs> Driss is getting Driss is getting hard I mean not that way you know what I'm saying he's getting hard he's got a hard well he's got a hard spell on him now was this the best thing maybe it was Driss doesn't need a meter do Mr. Goldark you got uh, a little bit, little bit hurt there with the seven dragon getting hit there Sierra did what she thought was best, I suppose. <laughs> eight, eight hit points, Andreas with a with a hellfire. Yeah, it's gonna be hilarious. Camden was gonna rock his whole team here. And theirs, but. <laughs> Dude, I have no idea. I have no idea. Literally could go any which way right now. Mr. Goldark, you are surviving. Flame spell on Shast. Ouch. Ooh, they went for the dragon instead. I have no snacks right now, Carrot. I have to find something, I guess. To your doom! Ooh, he went south! I thought he was going to go that way. Look at that. He actually didn't rock his own team that time. I'm, I'm quite shocked. I don't know. Skyler is going to be really hard to beat here. Oh boy, there goes the dragon. Just like that. Turn four. Oh boy. Turn four. Auto. Oh, soothing voice? Dude. Jean Grey is the savior of this team. Look at that. Okay, that was kind of dumb. He could have went up there and fought the leader. He didn't. What? What? Okay. Wow. <laughs> of course, why not? Ispis. And a protect spell on Camden. I don't know if it's. Uh, I don't know if Caroline can get this one here. We can try, but. There's the Meteor Doom. Makes total sense. Ninety. Mr. Goldark got hurt. Oh, that one's gone. That one took a hit. Well, she did a decent she did kind of an alright job with that. There goes the centaur. <laughs> Here goes the giant. Oh no. Still turn four.
turn five. Drist's turn. What are you gonna do, buddy? Flame spell on Sierra right there? Ooh. Mr. Goldar going after some doofy. Level 30, Camden. Just like that. Just like that. Smack that Fenrir. Smack it hard. Boom. Okay. I hit the start button. Should not be moving. Without my audible permission. Level 26. Wham, 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 bam. Wow, 90, really? Shouldn't I be at the top here, bro? Bro. 191. Sorry, Camden, but you gots to go, bro. Mr. Goldark, you are in danger, bro! You are in danger! Danger, Will! Will, Mr. Goldark, danger! With a crit! Bye bye, guys. Bye bye. Thirty-nine percent chance they interest. No way. No way. We'll give Drist a cold frosty here. Yeah, we'll go do it like that. Whatever. That's cool. 182. Down with a Scalio. Carleon Shast has just turned into level 23. Intelligence, agility, strength plus three. Wow. Wowie, 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 wow. Scalio's in the run. Do -do -do -do. A bunch of golems leveled up. Who cares? No big deal. But Shas did get a level there. Oh my god. Brigadine god, that is. Oh man, who's ever for a Scalio? They're in for a rude awakening. <laughs> Carleon's coming in very hard. Very hard. They can put some of their best stuff in three locations now. Which they will. And we'll see what happens, but... I don't know. They might go after Norgard. They might split up again. Who knows? Holy amulet. 
I don't know what to tell you guys and gals, but I don't know what to tell you. All I can tell you is that we are in for a lot of good battles. That's for sure. If Kirlian goes after Norgard, that will split them up a bit. That will help Escalio get a little bit bigger. I don't know if it's going to help Norgard very much, but it will help Escalio maybe push out a little bit. So, you know, maybe that's... Maybe that's all we gotta look for. But we'll we'll see. You know, we'll see. Norgard is fighting New Omeka to the mail. If Norgard does get into La into Lydney, oh, it's gonna make a heck of a time for Carolyn. Carolyn is going to struggle because if, if New Omeki loses Lydney, guess what? Carolyn has to defend Logras and Cadbury. Yes, they do. Now, if they push down to Fado, knock him out there, yeah, it'll make Neomechia a little bit stronger, but Kaelion will have to defend more if they have to defend two. Right now, they're down to defending three places. So that's going to make them quite strong for the minute, for the hot minute. If Scalia pushes back, if Kaelion pushes in here, it could change so many things. We'll have to find out in a second. Kirlian has 38,000 points. If New Omechia gets struck down, it's literally, we're just going to see green, yellow, and blue, and we're going to see which one can do the best forever. And we're going to push as hard as we can forever. Seventeen monsters left. Oh, that doesn't look very good. And that looks basically okay, but still. Mr. Goldark, you are still alive. Level 27. You, if Escalio does lose and you are level 27 and you just disappear, you have survived the game. You're just not there anymore. <laughs> You didn't get killed off, you just kind of wandered around in the forest somewhere. You get to level 29 or something like that, I don't know, but we'll see. New Elmechia. What did you do over here, bro? What'd you do over here? Oh, you put all that over there? Wow, that's crazy. That is absolutely crazy stuff. I didn't think you'd even do that kind of thing, but you did. He did. <laughs> and of course, Carleon. Kai is still here. I don't know if he's going to move. It really depends on Vinard. I don't know if Vinard's going to move at all, but I guess we'll see. Mr. Goldark, you don't want an angel? Carrot! You want the angel? Alright. Alrighty then. I shall name it after Carrot. Is that okay? Okay. It will be Carrot. I wish I named it Kakarot. Alright. I guess it's going to be Carrot here. Carrot with a T! How about we do two T's? That would be even funnier. Carrot. You are now named Carrot! Okay, you you have a name now, Carrot. There you go. I, I hope you enjoy. It's, it's there, it's Carrot. Or Carrot, I don't care what you want to call it, but it's there, nonetheless. 
There is a lizard guard here, which is not going to seem to go up anytime soon. I don't know what's going to go up. Good, up anytime soon. Who knows? Let's go to item files here. We got nothing. Apparently, has nothing left for items. Sucking back potions. I'm pretty dang sure. I'm pretty damn sure that, that Kai has been drinking a crap load of potions. Look at his MP. Just look at that MP. 578. He must have been sucking down some potions. That's. That is. That is for sure. I, I can probably guarantee that. But here's the thing. Norgard's gonna have a tough time because they have to either attack this, attack this, or Carleon might come out and attack them here. So Carleon could push out pretty hard. They can easily push almost anything down here and just have a, a better time, but Carleon's in a, in a strength point right now, so we'll see what happens. If Carleon pushes out into Hadrian, it will weaken them a bit. It honest to God will. If they push out anywhere else, they're going to be probably okay. Norgard? Norgard has to strike again into Neomechia here right now or forever hold their peace. They could push into here too, but Norgard has to push into one of these two places in order to knock Carleon around and make them kind of buffer themselves a bit. Norgard's going to save Escalio if Norgard attacks here. They could attack here too. Uh, you know, that could work as well, but Escalio needs to fight back, Norgard needs to fight back, Norgard needs to fight Neomechia. If Norgard can beat down Neomechia, they probably would have a chance, but right now, Carleon is like over the limit. 21 castles, there are 41 castles in the game, so they have more than more than half the castles in the entire game. And if Carolina can push out even more, they can actually save Neomechia, which would be hilarious. They push out here, and they push out here. Neomechia will literally just sit there the rest of the game and do nothing. Do nothing but survive. So, we'll see what happens. I don't know. Fuck. Sixty-seven monsters. Auto. Twenty monsters. Auto. Twenty-six creatures. Auto. <laughs> ninety-eight monsters. Neil Mechie has ninety-eight monsters. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? Mr. Goldark, no one fought anything. Everybody was like, you know what, peace, peace be with you. I would rather not fight anybody because I don't want to lose anybody. So I'm just going to sit here and eat my cake and do nothing else. That's all I'm going to do. Nothing more, nothing less. All I want to do is just sit around and eat my cake and do absolutely nothing. But I have to thank everybody for jumping in here. Like usual. All you ingrates that jump in here and just stare at me play the game. How you doing? <laughs> All you freaking ingrates! <laughs> How you doing tonight? We were playing Brigadine. Grand Edition. If you have not seen this game before. You are in for a treat. So go get your uh, belt buckle straps and go get your cake. Maybe get some whiskey too. That might be fun. And just sit back and relax. We're going to watch and see which country can survive this overall. If this was a Monday night, the whiskey may have been out. Well, even though it's not a whiskey night for you, it's a whiskey night for me. Anytime I'm playing Burgundine late at night, it's a whiskey night for me. Or or a Jaeger night for me. Now, Jaeger. Jaeger, I can just... 
I can put down almost a whole bottle in one night and just wake up the next morning and be like, yeah, that was a great night. The next morning, meaning like two in the afternoon or three in the afternoon. <laughs> but then I'll still be okay because I'll be like, whoa, wow, time has flown by, hasn't it? <laughs> time does definitely go by. Faticia, the fat one, picks up a yellow daisy. That reminds me, I gotta do more. I I gotta do more push-ups, man. I have become bigger. <laughs> I have become bigger in my state. <laughs> I need to do a lot more exercise. I'm thinking about going back to doing uh, martial arts, man. What do you think? I did a lot of Taekwondo when I was younger, but I'm wondering about karate. I'm wondering about some other possibilities out there. One thing I could do is sword martial arts. I already, I already know how to practice that. I could train people with that. But if I'm going to do some martial arts again, I don't know what you think. Krav Maga, karate, uh, Taekwondo, Jiu Jitsu. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. I can't believe nobody fought anybody. What a lame, 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 lame month. Right there. It's just super lame. I know some people said Krav Maga. You don't do certain things, but I've heard about Krav Maga. I think Krav Maga is a very deadly kind of art. Maybe I should just go to the White House and just get Secret Service training. I think that would probably be the best thing ever. Just be like, uh, you know, uh, Trump or Biden, I don't give a fuck who. Just, uh, just show me what you got, you know, and I could learn some things here and there. It would be like a 15-hour drive, but I might get something out of it. 100 creatures! Kirlian is up to 100 creatures right there. Boom. Auto, let's do it. Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Norgard is invading Aston? I don't believe it. Can you believe it, Mr. Goldark? There's Goingulin, Palmites, and Dillard. Dillard the man. Wow, that is a hefty army. Yarte, Vel, and we get Shast or Chantail. I think we have to go with Shaz, don't we? Mr. Goldark, you haven't answered my question. I'm a little concerned here. ghouls on their path on their way go with Krav Maga alright you got one for Maga I don't know could be deadly if I don't show for Brigandine in the future then you know what happened to me I just I, I met my end in, uh, in a training accident here We get to fight for Norgard this time. We get to fight for blue against green. Can you believe that? Ooh, the Garmers.
I don't really know how useful any of this stuff is going to be. There's too many ghouls on both sides. It's just, it's kind of pathetic. It's kind of pathetic. Turn three. Jean Grey out in the front lines. Oh no. Will Jean Grey survive in the front lines? Wingulin going after Jean Grey. Ooh. Guys, gals, this could be the end of Jean Grey's extended multiplayer monster lifespan. I don't know. I get to fight against it. It literally could be. Oh, man. Cursing Jean Grey. There is Mr. Goldark out here. the critical to boot. Oh, that might finish off Jean Grey. Jean Grey might go down tonight. Oh, man. How is Jean Grey going to survive this? Being poisoned in the front line down to 200 HP? I don't even know. Jean Grey is going to have to do a basic Airy heal on itself in order to survive. Wow. Well, that thing went away. Dillard's getting hit. We can't we can't have that right now. Oh, purple candies and Dillard. Oh no. We need the dude. We need dude. Turn four. No heal on Jean Grey. Jean Grey might go down here. This might actually be the finale for Jean Grey. This probably is the end of Jean Grey. Oh my god. Oh my brigadine god. There goes Jean Grey right there. Level 30 goes up for attack. Does not do an area heal. Nothing can nothing can heal it. At all. 59. <laughs> I could do better. You could have banned, you could have, but you didn't.
turn four. Jean Grey is 144, guys. I need to take a small break. I'll be right back. Jean Grey is likely gone. Just saying, Jean Grey might finally be gone from this LP. Oh, this is Leonia's last monster. Leonia is gone. The only monster left is Jean Grey right here. This was named after the Phoenix from Jean Grey from the very, very beginning. It switched sides so many times. Norgard might finish this off. I need to take like a small minute break here. I will be back. You can lament, you can laugh. I don't I don't really care what you do, but I'll be back and we'll see what happens. Hey, I am back. Let's see what happens here. Turn four, auto turn, go. Foul cry. I'm a little shocked he's doing this. He's hitting a lot of his own guys here. Uh, maybe he won't even hurt anybody. Oh, got that. Oh, no, no, no. It won't even get to fight back. I guess the AI knew that was going to be the right way to go. Retreat? You're not even going to fight? Wow! Oh no. They're retreating and yet killing off. 78. Why are you retreating though? I gotta know. Oh man, that was it. Hellhound attack for the win from the back. Oh, Jean Grey is down. Level 30, beginning of the game, gone. And Norgard retreats? What the hell? I guess they just couldn't handle the they couldn't handle the pressure. One more turn to go. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, guys. Norgard invades Listinois. What is even going on here? I don't even know. Beinart, Bane, Morholt. That's a powerful team. Kai, Amelia, Syria, Cortina. 
we have our options here. We're gonna go with uh we <laughs> Sierra here. Oh my gosh, can we Norgard is ballsy. Oh I was hoping I wouldn't meet the white wolf. Kilion's quiet king. It is said you're the wisest man in Forcina. Not at all, I'm just an average guy looking for simple happiness. I prefer to avoid fighting. Those are words of the well-to-do. Without rain, there is thirst. When crops fail, there is hunger. Some must fall that others may live. There are times to fight for what you must have. I am proof of what one can achieve when they stop trying to please everyone. One person can only do so much. We should live by completing each other's missing parts. I'm not perfect, so I am grateful to those who support me. You should reconsider your pride. A person can lose much to pride. I welcome your advice, but I do not think I'm perfect. I merely strive to be self-reliant. Now time is short. Let us finish what must be. I understand. I cannot let down those I protect, so I will fight. This is going to be quite amazing. Norgard versus Carleon. Kai versus Vinard. Spikers here. We got Falcor over here. Got some good stuff here. We got some good stuff. This is going to be the determining factor as to how things are going to go for it. If Kai is beaten down here, it's not going to go very well for Nuomekia. If Norgard's beaten down here, it's not going to go very well for Norgard. Really depends. Really honestly depends. And turn two. We are engaging in battle. Oh, this might not be good for Norgard in this case. So I could set up a really good position here. I don't think the Gantes can't hit anything, so I guess that's good for us. And a Gina Bolt there. Boom, boom, boom. Divine Ray, of course. There's dead Griffin. Oh no, carrot, carrot, carrot. You're in some risky situations here, man. You're in some risky situations. Kai is a little bit protected, so yay for him, I suppose. We gotta get Vinard out here. He's gotta do some damage. If I, when I get to the opportunity, he's got, he has to do some damage. Oh man. Oh man, there's the breath attack there. That's gonna hurt. Really? Gino Frost now? Dude, I don't know if that was worthwhile. Oh! And again with the breath attack? No way. No way. Oh, 
Yep. Oh, he missed his golden opportunity there. He could have done another breath attack and possibly finished off. Oh, he could have possibly finished off Amelia. Or got a super stupid low. Put up some shields. That's what you do. Still turn three. It's gonna be a heck of a battle. Regardless. Just a heck of a battle, that's for sure. Gino Bolt! Boom! Again. Oh man, the devastation here with the bolt attacks. up five hit points off of the centaur. Carolion might be outmatched as far as monsters go. Uh, it's looking more and more like it every day now. Kai. Kai's gonna do a heal. Okay. Kinda mm -hmm. makes sense, I suppose. It's a pretty good heal, though. Oh, Carrot, you're in a dangerous situation there, man. Maybe you'll be okay? I don't know. Let's see. Ooh, 166. This is a dangerous battle. A very dangerous battle, both sides. I think Norgard just really doesn't have a very good uh, offensive side here, considering where they've got their monsters. We do have Vinard. We could break down some monsters, though. Turn four. Turn four. though. I don't even know.
stuff is just dying all over the place. She's level 20 already. Oh, Yvain gets away with it too. Oh, the centaur dodges the... Dodges that too, wow. Not this time. You know what, the angels would be better off down south a little bit, because there's a lot of danger on a southern position, but that could be our, our victory stance there. He didn't even do a damn bit of damage. He just did one heal, now he's doing a Geno Bolt. Wow. Well, there goes a the unicorn. Holy word, why not? Carrot, oh man, I think you're gonna get the win here. I think you get the win here. That is a lot of damage, man. That is a lot of damage right there. We could help Vinard get in here, but he's gonna struggle. That's that's the way things are. Okay, we got 81 left. All right, so we're turn five. We are Norgard attacking. This stupid thing didn't do a damn thing yet. Um. All right, let's do as much damage as possible, right? Might as well. We will break things down, that's for sure. 56. Oh, my gosh. Ah, it won't help much, but... 74, 78, let's just do it for experienced spikers. You're going to get some experience here, so congratulations, spikers. Or not. <laughs> well, that sucked. Uh... Yay! No! Oh, we lost it. 106. We're moving in. We're moving in. <laughs> Viner is going to get a dragon kill there. Boom. Amulet hit. Done. Donezo. Done. All over. Yay. Should I hit this thing? Should I hit this thing? I think. I think we need to hit this thing here. Yep, just like that. Turn five. Meteor Doom! Really, I'm very surprised. I'm a bit surprised. You want the Meteor Doom there? Yeah, it did, uh, it, it did some damage, that's true. But you only... You, you hurt yourself a bit, though. I don't know how Kai can get this win here. I really don't. Okay. 160. to go. You got 16, you got two something. You're still kind of full. I got a lot of points left.
Oh, jeez, Gino Bolt. Oh, man, there goes your vein. There goes your vein. Heal. Wow. We tried against Kai. We tried. He just... <laughs> He's got it together so far. He really does. I'm gonna even sacrifice this? Because <laughs> he knew he couldn't get killed? Wow. Yeah, the Meteor Doom. He doesn't even care about the Scorpion. Meteor Doom again. Wow, Falcor took a hit there. Bam, killed off that. Killed off the level 9 Scorpion. Sierra, oh my god. Oh my Brigadine god, why did you do that? Why did you do that? I gotta know. Wow. Spikers! Boom! It's 72. I don't know if that's going to work. Two fifty nine. Wow. Hit point. Oh man. And he's got more health, got 300 and blah blah blah. Holy cow. Let's do some Meteor Doom. Why not? Seven. Heal. Angel. Wow, they are not done with me yet. Oof. Unbelievable. Oh my god. Oh my brigadine god. There goes Morholt. You could heal something else, but whatever. Alright, turn seven, turn it over. Oh 
Holy cow, 76. Wow. Vinard is out. Vinard is out. Vinard is out. Kai Carolyn has won the day. Oh my god. Brigadier God, yes. Oh my gosh. Wow. That was a hell of a battle. Norgard's also invading Solsteam after attacking Carleon? Man, these guys got some balls. They have a lot of monsters too, that's for sure. Lance, Cole. We gotta go with what's actually there that makes sense. Will Brangian win where Vinard apparently failed? Vinard could have stuck. Vinard could have stuck that one out. They could have stuck that one out. They could have won. Potentially against Kai. Kai had no heals left. You know, it's funny, Luintail is still level 18. He well, money's leveled all the way up to level 20 plus. Norgard had a crushing defeat there. Kai also lost a lot of things as well. Norgard had a crushing defeat there. If they get a win here, man, that, that would be... That would be insane. That would be absolutely insane. I I don't know, but we have to fight for Norgard. We're, we're just fighting for Norgard this whole entire time. That's, that's what's going on. That's what's going on, guys and gals. That's what we're doing tonight. A curse. El Rado doesn't move her position, which is a good thing for him. But for Norgard, I don't know. And of course, there's the miss. Another miss. Who would have thunk it? <laughs> and yet another miss <laughs> on top of it all. Boom, 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 Right in my sight, you will never be right. Frontline Brangin, Lance versus Brangin, Hawkeye versus on. Butterfly. Ooh, ow. Ouchie. She didn't do that much damage, but you know, at some point, she probably will. <laughs> Lance versus Brangin. This is basically like Iria versus Dinadan. Dinadan basically beats Iria, but Lance will beat Brandon. I'm so bad. 
We probably can get the win here since Lance is like right out the front lines. But even still. Even still. Even Stevens. Rock sure that. Griffo. Griffo the Griffin. See, this is the problem with Lance. He, he loves to jump on the front lines, and then he gets his ass whooped very quickly. He's got no protect spells. He's got no nothing. No whatever. <laughs> and a protect on Luinta. Why not? We're gonna have a good old battle here, that's for sure. That was good block and Lizman, that'll save us some time. Holy word. Could have went with a heal spell, but that will probably cost you. Probably. This should be a kill. Oh, that's almost a That should have been a kill there. Zero point in this. Literally zero point at all. Brandian gonna get smoked here. She's at 91 hit points. I really don't know. You're going to heal the Griffin. Interesting. down! She actually got hit! Oh, no! Oh, man. We're gonna have a hard time with Norgard here. I really was hoping to get Norgard to win here off this. I was thinking it was guaranteed Brangan's gonna dodge that and just shoot Lance in the face. That was all there is to it. Yep, still turn four. Oh boy, this could get difficult. It could potentially get difficult. We'll see. Yep. Norgard, I don't know. They might be on the decline here. <sighs> Depends. Kerlian moves all over the place. They change positions then. Norgard could come back, but... We can't even get that. We can't even get that. That's, um... <laughs> I was thinking there'd be a crit there. Boom! <laughs> At the last second, though. Does not help new, you know, does not help Norgard at all. We need to see Blue come back here. We need to see them come back. We're gonna play a little bit more. Oh my gosh, they dropped the dragon. They dropped the dragon for Neomechia. Norgard attacked Carleon. They didn't get a win. Norgard really mucked things up. Oh man, they really mucked things up. This is not good. 
capture the level 6 dragon on the boot. Oh man, we could not help out Norgard at all. Blue team is suffering. If you wish to give Norgard your blessing, your prayers, now is the time because unless Raging Paul comes back on Wednesday or Thursday, we're gonna have to wait till Friday. See what happens here. Which I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to wait till Friday. Because I think he's gonna be okay. At that point in time. Just saying, Norgar took some serious losses here. Lost a lot of monsters. They left with barely anything. Neuromechia might actually go out and fight. Carolion might redistribute their stuff all the way to the south. If Neuromechia takes a north and Carolion takes a south, that is almost basically a guaranteed win for red and green. We're going to see Christmas colors everywhere within the end of this game. It's going to guarantee... Carely on survival. If I have to replay this again, I'm gonna probably replay this again without Neomekia and, and Carely on having an alliance. <laughs> I might just play it without the alliance immediately and see what happens, but oh man. What? Langoborg is going to fight Oron? Wait a second, we don't even have Oron in the team? Man is distracted for an instant. And Langoborg lands a solid punch in the man's gut. Oof! Man falls to the ground. Arun, I'm so hungry. Son, no. Mommy, look. Wait. A good night, please forgive Oron. He is just trying to save our village. Oron? Once our village is prosperous, but the war. It was Oron who kept us alive. And then Final Fantasy fucking 10 decided to steal every idea and iota of Oron and put it into their damn game to make Titus super great. He never took anything for himself, please. Oh, that's enough. But Oran, sir, he doesn't care about reasons. I broke the law, and now I must pay the price. Lingborg remembers a story about a bandit with rune power who robs. Wow, that does actually off the screen. Who robs from crooked merchants and nobles and gives the gold to the poor. Oran, the honest thief. You've heard of me. Yeah, some people call me that, but I'm nothing special. You know what the war is doing to Forsina. Everything is burning to the ground. Villages like this pay the price. Fancy words don't feed hungry mouths. We have to do something to survive. After listening, Lingaborg begins preaching to Oren, saying that you can't use survival as an excuse to do wrong. Using evil to fight evil just makes the world worse. Those marked by the rune have a duty to fight to make the world a better place, eventually. I knew what I was doing wouldn't fix the problem. If I became a knight, maybe I could protect this village? Maybe even protect Forsina? Do you really think we could? Lingaborg gives a sure nod. Hmm, that would be nice. Well, then... If you'll take me to meet your lord, I'd like to enlist. After saying goodbye to the village woman and her son, Orin and Legorg head towards Carleon. Orin has joined. Oh my brigandine god! Oron has joined Carleon. Legorg is no longer in Oron. Well, <laughs> Orin is in. Legorg is out. <laughs> Let's take a peek. Let's take a gander at Oron. The, wherever the frick he is, I don't even know where he is. He's at uh, Kai's team over here. 
No cock, playing to work. Where the Oh, there's a I already passed by. Rona Blade. Level 14. An honorable thief, he raided corrupt nobles and merchants, but in time realized he wasn't really changing anything, so he joined the war to protect Forsina's poor. Oran is Final Fantasy X's Oran, the red samurai. See, his armor is red. Has that uh, dark haired look with the little Bushido, you know, hairstyle and all that. And he robs from the rich, gives to the poor. Oran is the paladin kind of samurai in Final Fantasy X. Final Fantasy literally stole Oran to put it in their game. I don't know what other games Final Fantasy has done this to, but Final Fantasy has done this to Brigandine at the time when Brigandine was coming out at the time of Final Fantasy Tactics and the Final Fantasy VII. And so a few games later, a boom through Oran, the samurai, the master samurai, the ronin. Which he comes with the Ronin Blade. So he comes with the Masterless Samurai Blade in this game. And in Final Fantasy X, he comes as a Masterless Samurai into the game of Final Fantasy X. No way! How could this possibly be? They kind of copied it from Burgundy. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now, if anybody. Wants to play Final Fantasy X, you have to give script. You have to give some kind of, I don't know, something to Oron here because he has inspired Oron in Final Fantasy X. They almost plagiarized him, maybe, possibly, potentially. Potentially. All right, domain wise. Norgar tried to come in, they tried to fight, 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 fight. They did not do what they were going to do, and it left them down to bare minimum monsters. They are trying their best, though. I have to say kudos to them for trying as hard as they could. They just did not fully accomplish their goal. Tried. They have. They have tried. You can toast them for it. They have tried. But there is not much left of Nargard here. This is going to be a bit of a slaughter. Mystic. Ooh. Okay, Scalio. Level 27, Mr. Goldark. Wow. Who wants to be a Fenrir? Who wishes to be a Fenrir in the days of battle? Monsters. We're going to auto ahead, and boom, 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 87 monsters with Carillion still. Oh, 
160 with Nuomechia. Oh, man. They got kind of knocked back, didn't they? Oh, they're trying. They're trying very, very hard. Monsters. All right, we are going to shave her up here. Probably play one or two more bouts. Nuomechia is trying. Nuomechia is definitely trying. Nuomechia attacks Juke's castle. If Nuomechia can push into here and do well, Carleon can push all the way to the south and it's going to do immense damage. We'll have to see. The Omechian line is the rightful. He's the rightful king. I fight for Lance. I will welcome you in the Norgard way. Oh man. What will happen today will be epic. You know, Mechia has to fight for king and country, of which we probably should call prince and country. Norgard has a heck of a battle ahead of itself. Kirlion should have been leading this fray, but whatever. Got some fire going on here. Karen. <laughs> yeah, probably. Skin. Level five, bro. Well, Mechia is attacking Norgard. And a thunder. Oh no, not a thunderbolt. <laughs> Could have been a thunderbolt. Mr. Goldark, 
Oh, with the Divine Ray. Oh no. Geno Bolt. Whoa. He is kind of pissed off, that's for sure. Tissia makes no sense. <laughs> oh my gosh. Whew. Mr. Goldark, man, no! Don't die, bro! Though I may have to kill you. Gino Frost, yeah, boy! Oh, really? You're gonna hit your own guy? You're gonna hit Mr. Goldark with a flame attack? Oh, man. Oh. Falcor. But Falcor, you just... Oh, you just killed off Mr. Goldark of the Bronze Golem. Makes no sense. Wow, <laughs> that's powerful stuff. No, don't stay there, dude. You're going to die. You're going to die. That was just completely silly. Turn four. Mr. Goldark, no! Mr. Goldark. Crit. That finally happened. I'm obsessed with that silence spell. Really good. It's not going to get touched. Turn four. 
Mr. Goldark, you need to get that F out of dodge, man. You're about to die. You really, really do. Oh, Bliskin's down to 200 points. Mr. Goldark, Bronze Gum, get the heck out of Dodge, bro! Oh no, dude, you need to get out of there, man. You need to get out of there. Pliskin is still okay. Ninety hit points left. Turn five. It's my turn. To go with New Mechia. Mr. Goldark. You did great things, that's for sure. Sixty percent, uh, maybe. Let's try this out. Mr. Goldark, no! Get you way out of here. Wow! Actually worked.
to stick around, don't you, Viner? Might be your undoing, though. Mr. Goldarg, I am sorry to say, bro, but... Oh, level 23, level 23 Golem. It's gone. It's too good of an opportunity. Rampant Crest destroyed. So sorry, man. actually killed him up. Leonard's running away, wow. He's just gonna walk away. Turn seven. Nothing I can do. See some battles here. Let's do a heal on Garrett. Look at this. <laughs> wow. 
183, Viner gone. I underestimated you have a corner to me. The honor, is, the honor is yours this day. The heights are mine to climb. If we meet again, I will show you the horror of facing the white wolf. Ring of Might is looted. Melligant gained a victory. Melligant gained level 30. Tool intelligence, agility, hit points, strength. Unbelievable. The might and strength of Neomechia into Jukes. That was a heck of a battle. Wow, that was a heck of a battle, that's for sure. I think Carleon is basically done in the north, if this is the case here. We'll have to see. Carleon might go full south with their armies here. It's gonna make one heck of a front line, that's for sure. Tina has grown stronger. Great. Whew. Ooh, Hector gained some hit points. Good for him. Good for him. All right, let us check out the domain here. Carleon is cut off. 40,000 points for Carleon. We may have to play this again without an alliance to just see what happens. Maybe we'll make a few alliances here. Maybe we'll make three different alliances because that could work. There's six countries, you know. Maybe we'll make a... Maybe we'll make a, a custom alliance. Maybe Scar's Empire with Neonia. And Norgard with Domekia. Carleon with Scott. That would be a pretty interesting alliance setting, I think. Um, but yeah, Carleon is down to three castles they have to defend. Is Scar's going to have a struggle here. Fight New Norgard's going to have a struggle as well. They already kind of have that. They have to go back and go one, two, three, four, which is more than they had beforehand, but they just lost this one particular castle here, which, you know, they got up to uh, a silver dragon, but still, a bunch of ghouls is just not going to cut it. Not for a, a good defense here. Falcor is still with Norgard. Spike is over here as well. I don't know what's going to happen with any of these monsters here, but we're going to have to find out. They might have to split up. Uh, Neomechia might fight for Cardiff, and if they do, they can. Oh man, they're going to. There's going to be a lot of red up here pushing into this, into this side, and if that's the case, Carleon will literally be able to hold anything down south here, especially with Kai here. Kai's gonna be one heck of a boon, pushing all over the place. He's got his own 22 monsters. Carleon is maxed out, 91 creatures. They could lose more, and they wouldn't really care. Nomechia's plus positive for them. That's good for them. The Norgard is massively plus. You don't have to worry too much. So they're still in a good.
They bought two more monsters for Escalio. Neomechia invades Cardiff from where? Everywhere? Or one place? Who knows? We'll find out. Lance, Haley, Cole. Ooh. There's going to be a powerful team. Brangy, Leto, and Zerafin here are here on defense. We we're playing for New Omechia. We we're playing for Red. For the motherland, Russia. I mean, Omechia. We cannot lose. The enemy made a fool of Norgar, but I will never bow down. We'll find out today, won't we? Ooh, this is going to be quite juicy. I don't know what's going to happen, but... I think the centaur is going to get a shot immediately. <laughs> I, think, I think we got a battle ensuing immediately. I'm almost positive here. Yep, we already, got a, we already got a center attacking, so... Why not? Right up against Lance, she's just not fucking around. She's just like, you know what, I'm gonna shoot you in the face! You stupid little punk! Come out here and fight me! Fuck you! Fuck you! You're gonna go down! I think that's funny, don't you, Karen? Huh? 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 Maybe it is. 
Maybe it is, after all, you never know. Sometimes the funniest things that ever happen in this world are Lance going out to the front line against a salamander. And stuff like that, you know. You know what I mean, bro? Ringer is going for a photon beam. Just going whoosh, yum. Wow. Wowie, wowie, wow. Exhaust. 2% chance. Spikers, no! Spikers is gone! Spikers level 16 has been demolished by Prince Lance. Who would have thought that could be? Oh, spikers. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's still turn two? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my brigadine god. It is turn two. Turn two. Can you believe that? Turn two? It is turn two. The battle has begun. I have an easier time in this game than I do than a new version of Brigandine Legend of Runerzia. Can you believe that? Oh man. Turn two. Valkor is going in to eat some centaurs. He's very, very hungry. Spikers, you have been lost a few different times. I don't know how many more of you there are left. Mr. Goldark, you are thoroughly destroyed with one of your monsters here. That kind of sucks. Protect spell. I don't know if it's going to work. She might just run anyways. She's going to stay. Shoot Cole in the face. I think Neo Mech is going to get a win here. Uh, pretty big win here. I have to say, holy word, boom. That could finish things off. 81 on Bragian. Boom, she's down. <laughs> Level one girl did not escape. Now it's dead. Mahaley is still yet to get into the battlefield. Pringer is attacking the Wintail. Pringer is going to eat Blue Intel for breakfast. Heal up the dragon. Good job, bro. Good job, little bro. Griffo. Oh, the winter is going to take a lot of damage here, probably.
You protected yourself? Okay. 83? I don't see it. I don't see it. Level 19. Level 19. I, I don't know. Bye bye. Oh, there's the stone. But still survives. Lizard Man's gotta be gone. Yep, he's dead. Ghouls for the win. Well, I mean, for the defeat, but they did take out uh, a Lizard Man. <laughs> oh, Norgard lost, but I don't know. Numeki took a lot of casualties here. They did get a, a couple classes. So, I mean, there is that, but still, I don't know. Leonel goes into the forest. Ooh, Leonel gets some hit points. That's good for him. Leonel gets some hit points, guys. Alright, well, we are going to set up for the next attack here, which will probably happen on Friday. And we're going to see what's happened after that. Mr. Goldark, I am very sorry. We're probably not going to see a Talon anytime soon. It was close, but just the battle just destroyed it. What was that? Now, if you go on a quest and you get a talent to follow, which I actually have seen that once before, that would be pretty damn cool. But seriously though, it's extremely rare. Sage, level 20. Now, she could go out and quest, but she's gonna sit here with Shast, just whooping some butt whenever the chance comes. That's that's sort of the that's sort of the plan here. 94 creatures. Let's check out the domain here. We have a new Omekia resurgence. Possibly come back. We don't know. We'll have to see what they do with this army here. They, they could maybe make it quite powerful. Maybe next time we'll make unallied countries just to see what happens. Or maybe next time we'll make allied countries to see what happens with allied countries. You know, I think literally Iskar's Empire with Leonia would be best. And then Norgard with Neomechia. And then Escalia with Kerleon. It'd be pretty cool to see, but, you know. We shall have to have a vote. Allied or unallied. I have one of the best scenarios set up for both sides, which does honestly make sense. Everybody gets to fight everybody. Uh, in this era that I have picked out. As far as uh, tag team countries go. Or... Gonna have just completely unallied countries just to see what ends up happening in that type of scenario. But we got Norgard with one, two, three, four, 
you know, four castles to defend. Carolyn with two, Scalia with two, and New Mickey with two. So Norgard has Norgard has its stuff cut out for it. That's for sure. Scalia is down to twenty-four. What you got left? You got spikers over here. You got some stuff left. <laughs> Mr. Goldark, level 20. So, Mr. Goldark, you're not totally out of this yet. You have a 27 salamander just waiting in the wings here. 24 creatures left, though. So, you know. No mech you at 23 with a good mana boost, so that could change around. Pringer and Pliskin are waiting here to go and fight. Like crazy. They're really, really, really waiting to go and fight. Six hundred and seventy six mana. Forty five monsters left. Fifteen mana, they have about eight hundred and fifty-nine bonus at the end. They're not too far off. They are not too far gone. They may actually try to counter strike here. We'll see. We shall see what they do. going to have to wait until Friday. So if you are super excited to see what ends up happening, you're going to have to tune in on YouTube or you're going to have to tune in on Twitch on Friday and have to you know, basically end up seeing what ends up happening here. We lost a couple Mr. Goldarks. We lost some Pliskins. I think one well, Mr. Goldarks and Pliskins, but um, yeah. New Mechia. If New Mechia turns things around, Norgard is in for a world of hurt, and so is Iscalio. Just saying, it's literally down to the wire here. Iscalio can change things around, fight back against Kirlion, and Norgard can fight against New Mechia. They probably have a chance, but just separated and by themselves, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to make a vote for next time to see what ends up happening. Like, should we do two on two on two alliances, or should we just do like a complete free for all just to see what ends up happening? You know? Because. Obviously, with uh, New Mechia and Carolion here. Yeah, New Mechia could have been gone. And then Kaelion would have been on their own. And it would have been a struggle. But New Me you know, Kaelion does hold a lot of territory. So we'll have to see next time. But um Yeah, that's just the thing. That is just the thing. What will happen? next time on Burgundy Grand Edition Historical Conquest with your host Veracity Trigger we shall have to find out because this is something that you know is very likely to be the case Norgard does end up inquiring and taking over most of this territory Escalio does take over most of this territory but 
The fact is, if Nurumekia doesn't get knocked out, it makes a very powerful Carrion. Because Nurumekia literally just sort of buffers Carrion for a while. We'll have to see in another kind of scenario if Carrion can survive with an ally or without. You know, we'll have to see this. I don't know. I can't say for certain that Carrion is going to be the overall victor here. They definitely have the most points, that's for sure. But, you know, we'll have to see what ends up happening. Norgard could definitely turn things around. Really, truly mess up Carrion. Anna Scalia could come back and it could be a blue and yellow kind of thing here. It could be that. We'll have to find out on Friday. Okay? So, everybody that was here, thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate that. We will have some of these videos up on YouTube. And which, you probably will see this video up on YouTube as well. I won't have these totally numbered, but they will be within the playlist. So you can, you know, see what's next up on the playlist and all that sort of stuff. But you're going to definitely see some Shinobi Tribe stuff going out there as well. As well as some help videos and some other stuff too on my channel on youtube and other platforms as well so if you are on other platforms please leave some likes uh subscribe you know and i really do truly appreciate all the subscribes and all the follows that are there on other platforms and thank you so much for being here have a great day have a great night whatever i'll see you in the next episode or video take care